Hi everybody, it's Julie. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here using the June Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat Kids and this one's entitled Promise Keeper and I am in Deuteronomy chapter 7 which is one of the verses that the devotional takes us to. This is a wonderful powerful passage and I'll talk about the passage in just a moment. I'm using my illustrating Bible and I'm creating a template, just a stencil that I'm going to be using. And I've gotten a cheap index card. This is actually a very thin one from the package. And I've drawn a cloud, just a simple cloud, just to show you how simple it is. And I'm cutting it out. Don't be precise. Clouds are never perfect. Don't worry about how um, perfect and precise it is because that's the magic of clouds. Now, I'm using a craft sponge. They come in a package. I've got it linked where I can get mine, where I get mine. They come in packages of four, I believe, and then I cut each one into quarters so that you get more out of it. I like these craft sponge because of their porosity, the, the number of pores that they have in them. There are different types of, you can use blending tools or other types of sponges daubers, things like that. But for this particular project, when I'm making clouds, I like using the craft sponges because of the way they look, the just the texture of them. Now, I need to give a disclaimer again. I am still working at summer camp away from home, so my regular studio setup is not uh, what I have to work with here. So again, I'm sorry, my camera is going to be shaky. Every time I bump or do anything like that, my table shakes and my camera shakes. So I'm sorry. I hope you don't get uh, queasy by watching this. So I am taking this template and I'm moving it around and simply sponging around the edges. Now I'm showing you if you sponge around the entire cloud then you're going to get one effect. I actually like just going around the top edge. You can go around both the top and bottom and I might do that towards the bottom of the page but I really like just going around the top of it and moving that. That gives it more of a cloud like look but in some places I will complete the whole cloud and so now I'm just you know, going around the whole page. Very light hand. That's very important that you have a light hand because clouds are just wispy and light. Now this, uh, the color I've used is Broken China by, it's a Distress Oxide ink. You can use any kind of blue, light blue, anything like that. You can even come in and add a little bit of violet, a little bit of a darker blue just to make the clouds richer. I was going for something simple here. So I just pulled out the one color. Now I'm going to do some stamping. This is the stamp set that it came with the kit, the Faith Art Box. And I'm using the stamps that are in it a little bit unconventionally. So this rainbow I'm using here, I'm actually spelling out the word God. So I'm using the rainbow and that's going to be my G. And this little sunshine swirl is going to be my O. And I'm going to use this cloud puff to be the base of my D. I'm going to fill in just with my black marker to make the lines. Now how cool is that? So I'll come in and color the rest and now with my um, the little swirl I'm going to come in and add the rest of the the beams to extend out to make it more like an O. You also saw that I used some washi tape and I marked off the verse, the passage, so that that did not get any of the ink on it. I just wanted to mask that so that that will be white when I take that off. Now I'm using that same ink and then the stamp, the filler stamp to um, fill in the inside of that puffy cloud. That cool stamp could also, that image could be used like for a sheep, for the body of a sheep or something like that. But isn't that neat? can use that to spell out the word God. Be clever and creative. Don't be afraid to use stamps in different ways than they are 
really intended to. So that G was made out of the rainbow stamp. And that cloud certainly wasn't meant to be a D, but you make it into what you want it to be. And God made the rainbows. He made the clouds. He made the sun. And so those things are, they came from him. They, they are a part of him. So I decided to use those stamps to, to spell out the word God. Now my title here is going to be God is the Promise Maker and Promise Keeper. Let me talk about this passage. It's Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses, let's see, um, 7 through 9. And it talks about how God is the, um, he's so faithful and he makes an oath. He's, a, he's the keeper of the oath. Let me read this to you. But because the Lord loved you and kept the oath, he swore to your fathers he brought you out with a strong hand and redeemed you from the place of slavery, from the power of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God, who keeps his gracious covenant loyalty for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commands. So God made a covenant and made an oath with our fathers, and then he keeps those commands and that gracious covenant for a thousand generations. And again, it's because he loves us. So I love this powerful promise, this powerful statement about who God is and how faithful God is, and that he is our promise maker and our promise keeper. And we can always depend on him People in our sphere of influence, people in our lives will break promises, whether on purpose or not. You know, they can have wonderful intentions, but we are humans. And so we break promises. We don't always mean to, but God is faithful forever. He's sure. So I'm making that my my promise here on this page. God is the promise maker and promise keeper. So I use the alpha stickers to spell out is the and I use the different colors and then I use the stamps for promise keeper and promise maker and then some of the stamps to highlight. I put the crown up above the O and then I use the little star and heart to act as kind of bullet points. And then you saw me, I just made a tab out of the devotional backing. And I'm using some of the Word Fetty stickers. I pulled out the one that said faithful. And I'm going to use that on my tab. And I'm going to use some of the my marker here to give it an edge. So the colors that I'm using are, um, let's see, I'll have them linked in the comments section. But... Uh, cadmium yellow, leaf green, um, I think it's magenta, and then also uh, black. Those are the colors. And then again, that blue that I use is the Distress Oxide China, Broken China. This is just some washi tape from my stash. And I'm covering up the back of my tab where it had some writing on the the back just some of the wording so I want to make that because this is kind of at the front of my Bible so I want to just I use some washi tape to cover up the back of that so that it's pretty too. Used another decor sticker the one that says eternal promise sticking that up there at the top and making kind of a little cluster at the top and I'm using that little star sticker I'm gonna put my bow clippy up there this black faux leather. It's just really cool. Black is such an anchoring color and so that's why I'm going to come in now do a little black splatter painting. Just take a damp paintbrush, pick up a little bit of paint and just gently flick it with the paintbrush. And I'm drying that because I'm going to come back in off screen and do my journaling and I add some decor stickers and some of the word Fetty stickers to complete my journaling. 
And what it says is, you, God, are faithful. You have made a beautiful covenant with your people. Your promises are eternal and steadfast. Your word is perfect, and it will never fail. Amen. I added some washi at the bottom and stamped my date with my mega, da state, mega date stamper. Couldn't say that properly. And there you have it. Fun page. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. Be sure to check the links for all the products as well as this kit. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And thanks so much. See you next time.